There's something more as well to visit Ponking. I think I saw I need to actually choose the channel 65. I guess eventually something will happen, but uh, now. Uh, let's go to the pack. Oh, where's my cleaver? Always forgetting stuff. What am I finding here? Is this like an additional place to gather some stuff? At least at night, because in the day, nothing's going on. Or just a small warm-up before the action. What's funny is that I can kill them instantly and then jump to the next uh, part of the game. Also, what's upstairs? I'm very curious, like... The last time I was there, I killed every single person available. A Bible. Yeah, that's gonna help me. Ah, the memories. Oh, we can directly go here. The place of massive battle. Well, that's cool, but I'm... Uh, Definitely not gonna wake up people. <laughs> Someone's lying here. I don't know them. But I will steal your stuff. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, it was a massacre. For sure. I don't want to go further. <laughs> it is a next chapter in life. You're back. We've been listening on the radio. Nothing but a bunch of dead air. What happened? You were wrong about Mama's plan. Turns out the tower doesn't give a shit about commanding the airwaves. They were there for a generator. Loaded it up and got away before I could stop them. A generator? Why would they want that? We, we got all the power we need at the compound. It's true. The tower doesn't use a ton of electricity. What they need, they get from solar. Generators eat up fuel, which is, like, very limited. <sighs> so, what the hell's going on here? You tell me. You sent me there. Looks like some plotting and scheming to me. Fucking mama. Always one step ahead. Damn. I was really looking forward to people hearing JB raging again. We gotta find a way to get it on air. Don't worry. It'll get out there. We can't let this derail our plan. So, you got anything else to report, tourist? Do I? Found a cool map. It's got some scribbles on it. Hmm. Can't be that cool. Let me see it. It's a tower map. I recognize the patrol routes. Looks like it lays out some exile locations in different parts of the city. 
Maybe they're encampments, fortifications. Mama's not gonna tolerate a priest organizing a bunch of exiles. She's coming for them, and they gotta get ready. Thank you, tourist. This is useful. We'll be in touch again when we figure out our next move. In the meantime, keep yourself safe. I'll be ready. So now we just chill. <laughs> Past time, King Zombies. Good for me. Morning sunshine. Coming at you on all channels, people. The Pond King is open and the dealing can commence. What about that? Travel to Bywater. Okay. That's a very specific place. <laughs> I'm ready for all inconveniences. I got also punching gloves, like... That could be interesting, especially that we can use them with a combination. They are also a backup once everything just breaks. I think I remember this map. Not sure though. Fishing place. Yeah, it's with the big hangar, right? Okay, if that sound will persist, then that's not fun. Wait, it's here. Oh. Hello? Can I take some stuff? Okay. <laughs> Been staring at that door for hours, hoping you come through it. Damn good to see you. <laughs> hey, what's the matter? The priest put you in a bad mood? He can be a pushy son of a bitch. Sounds familiar. Can it, Dez? What did Father Carter have to say? She has no arm on them. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't read. Too much. That dude likes flapping his gums. Bottom line, he's down with the concept. He did have a few stipulations. He gave me a letter to give to you. That son of a bitch. All right, put it in the drawer. Where is it? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Man of God, my ass. He's a wolf, this guy. Shifty. But fuck it, he can have it his way. With the preacher bringing his exiles to the table, we will have people in every corner of this city. There's a whole lot of demand out there, tourists, and everybody in Nola's gonna know that the Pond King always delivers. It doesn't sound as cool as you think. Keep quiet, Dez. I'm doing business with the tourists. You'll get your cut once the goods start flowing through here from our exile friends. With everybody still dazed from the shitstorm in Old Town and the reserve fiasco, this trade network is the perfect plan at the perfect time. Supplies have never been harder to come by. What exactly happened in the Old Town? Like, am I missing something? Everybody's got Old Town on the brain. Yeah, well, it was a fucked up situation. Some lunatic has figured out how to keep the bells ringing for days. What's the point of that? Slaughtering a bunch of innocent people, then making it nearly impossible to ever set foot in that stretch of Nola ever again. Chaos like that ain't just bad for business, it's bad for living. Hope mama gets a hold of that fucker, gives them what they deserve. I heard it was some tower guy who went rogue. Yeah, yeah, but you know what they say, pumpkin. Truth travels slowly. The rumors have wings. You're like the only one alive who says stuff like that. Cut the shit, Dez. I mean it. So I guess this is the place where we'll find this mystery person. I thought he'd be like traveling across the stages and stuff. Um, I don't know, but I really hope so. Just make sure my cut is substantial, Sonny. Then we won't have a problem. I'll tell you what I tell all my associates. I haven't operated this fine establishment for 28 years. 
through a fucking apocalypse even by breaking my promises. You've got my word, and my word is good as solid gold. It's true. He does say that to everybody. That's enough, Dez. <laughs> One thing you gotta know about the Exiles, they're like catfish, night feeders. So you'll need to venture out after dark to do business with them. Work that UV flashlight to find where they've set up shop. It's a whole different ball game at night. But the Exiles say it's the best time to scavenge. Less competition, lots more loot. Well, get them it. I am scared of the dark. Thanks for the tip, Pawn King. You know I got your back, tourist. Listen, while you're here, I got a favor to ask you. It would help the trade network out a whole lot. Our old friend Henri, he had stuff hidden all over this town. He was like a fucking squirrel. Couple of nuts here, couple of nuts there. Most of it, I could care less. But he and I were in the middle of a deal for one of those stashes, and then he got himself dead. I happen to know where he hid it. You can keep whatever else you find, but the batteries, those belong to me. Sounds simple enough. Where do I need to go? The spot ain't too far from here. An old recording studio in the French Quarter. Lots of fine memories. Henri and I used to do session gigs there. Him on slide, me on bass. We even played with Slim Dog Fortune once, if you can believe that. Recording studio, French Quarter. Anything else I need to know? Yeah, how to get into the place. The cat who owned the recording studio was a lunatic, Martinique the Martian Drisco. He was a bit on the paranoid side, thinking everyone was out to steal from him. Didn't trust us musician types as far as he could throw us out the front door. He was always switching the door code, sometimes every other day. Okay. Where do I find the code? The Martian was something of a ladies' man. Had a dalliance with a different lady every week. So he set himself up with a private suite at the Hotel Eclair. Every time he changed the door code to the studio, he'd leave it there for whoever he had coming around. You find room 212, you find the code. I was just at the Hotel Eclair. Place is infested. One last thing. We're not gonna be keeping regular business hours from here on out. Security reasons. I'm sure you get it. We'll shout out on the radio when the doors are open, so stay tuned in. Good luck to you, tourists. I see. So I'm just gonna collect fastly some stuff that I'm not sure if I need, like... My thing is just a bow and melee. Can't I go in peace? Yo, get out of here. Can I just do that? <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> okay. Hot damn. Assholes. Oh, hello. So how does gloves work? So a stagger and then a hit. That's fine with me. Are we full on the equipment? Yeah, I'll just collect some stuff and then we'll go. Those gloves are definitely not that durable. <laughs> it just broke. But the problem is that I hit with them at the same time I use weapons. So I don't know. Ugh! <sighs> 
That should be enough. Back to the hotel. 